Hello all, this is Ultimate Prime and today I'm coming at you with another video review and this time we're going to be reviewing Robots in Disguise Blast Wave. Now before we start the review, let's just take a quick look at the box and of course you see his picture of him in his vehicle mode. You also see a picture of him in his robot form. When you turn the box over, you see that he transforms within 13 steps and it shows you all the steps to transform him. You also see a shot of him in his vehicle mode as well as in his robot mode. And you see that you can scan his insignia and you can unlock him to play him in a uh, app game. And that's really it for the box. So I'm going to go ahead and get him opened up and out of the packaging. And then we'll take a look at him and see what we've got. Okay, so here we have Blast Wave opened up and out of his packaging. And uh, I have to say that I did not think that I was going to like his vehicle mode as much as I do. But um, I do. I, I really like his vehicle mode. Um, one of the reasons I didn't think I was going to like it is because uh, on the bottom... It looks a little, um, it looks a little empty in here. If you see it from the back, you know there's just a lot of space in there, um, which isn't like a normal tank. But I mean, it really doesn't take away too much. I mean, I really like the way this vehicle mode looks. Um, it does roll. It's got wheels down here on the bottom of the treads. The treads, of course, don't move, but it does have these little wheels, so it does roll. Um, this part here can go up and down, so you can aim it. He, um, also can swivel. So this part here swivels, and you can swivel that in different directions. And, um, I, I really think it's cool. He does come with this sword here, which I have pegged in here at the top. Uh, it's got a green hilt, silver blade here looks nice and that can be pegged into several spots uh, the official place that it shows is right here on top but you can also plug it in here on the side if you like or um, just kind of slipped out but yeah you can plug it in here on the side or anywhere else that you like um, and it still looks nice so um, I think his vehicle mode looks great um, just for a quick size comparison, here he is next to Optimus Prime. You see Optimus Prime is a little bit longer, maybe a little bit bigger, but, uh, he's still a nice size. So there, um, one thing that I did notice is that he has, because he has so many peg holes, he actually works really well with uh, Titans Returns figures. Um, for instance, uh, if you move the sword down here, you can plug one right here in this little slot here in his head and have like an extra little gun turret here with a Titans Return figure. Um, also, you can, he's got the peg holes for his hands here on the back side. And, uh, you can put some figures in there too. Uh, the peg holes are sometimes a little tight on, on him. But yeah, look at that. You can have another guy riding him back. Or how about two guys riding him back here? Let's plug another guy back here. So you can have a couple of figures riding there in the back. Um, to give him extra firepower. And then he's still got another peg hole here. Let's plug in a gun or something here. I mean, this guy can be fully loaded up. I mean, he's very weaponized. So as a turret or as a tank, I mean, I just think he looks great. So yeah, so he works well with uh, Titans Returns figures, which is um, a little different. You don't usually see where they can work so well with other... Uh, crossovers but um, yeah he looks good so I'm gonna take these guys off and like I mentioned the pickles are really tight on this guy and 
And I'm going to take this gun out of here. And then we're going to go ahead and get him transformed into his vehicle mode. I mean, not his vehicle mode, but we're going to get him transformed into his robot mode. And in order to transform him into his robot mode, we're first going to, let's go ahead and take this sword out. And you don't actually have to take the gun out, um, his cannons out, but I usually do. I think it makes it a little bit easier. And then um, one of the first things we want to do is let's go ahead and get his arms separated. So just pull that apart there. Pull the arms out straight. And this part here in the back becomes his chest. And then you can just flip these here. Turn this upwards. Pull these shoulders down. Flip this. Pull the other shoulder down. And his head flips out here. Actually, let's open this part up and then turn his head. And you can close the chest up. And then you just need to get the legs. So let's go ahead and they have they're connected to little hooks. We'll just unhook that here. Unhook this one. And then you can pull these this part of the leg down. And once that's down, we can separate this area here. So you need to just pull this out. That folds in and becomes the foot and then you just fold it up and that becomes the knee clip that down and you've got one leg there and you just do the same on this side you want to pull this down that part there will fold up and it's got a little tab here where it connects and then you just pull this down and you've got both his legs and the arms which have some nice little ratchet joints in there. And there you have him in his robot mode. Now, I really do like his robot mode. I think that's uh I think that's the better of the two modes. As much as I like do like his vehicle mode, I think his robot mode looks really good. I mean, uh the color is great and uh he's got a lot of articulation as well, uh which I can show you. Um and before, well, I'll show you the weapons later, but uh, his head does move from side to side. Because of the transformation, it can actually, if you have this part a little bit opened, it can actually kind of slide back. But if you have it closed and clamped, it really can't move. But it can turn from side to side. Uh, the shoulders um, can go up and down a little bit with those ratchets and you hear those nice strong ratchets uh, it can go up and down one thing it can do is it can actually move forward due to the transformation so his shoulders can come kind of inwards in like he's flexing uh which is something unusual for um transformers you don't usually see that movement there but it can come forward uh the actual iron parts here can move forward and back uh they can twist here back and forth do a full swivel his elbows do come up and down uh, he doesn't have anything in the hands he does have a waist movement due to the transformation he can do a full 360 uh, his legs can come up and down forward and back they can also turn because they're on a hinge so you can turn them uh, this part here can swivel back and forth and he has knee articulation here so he can bend his knees doesn't really have anything in the feet uh, and that's really it for his articulation but he's got he's got quite a bit of articulation um, now he does have several weapons his sword here can of course go in his hand and if you don't want to put it in his hand he's got the peg holes here on the side so you can store it here 
And what I do like about him having all these pick holes is that it really increases the playability, I think, because you've got multiple places, multiple looks for him. Actually, if you want to, you can actually store the sword back here and this little peg hole on his head. And it looks, you can have it right there on the back, which I think looks pretty cool as well. Now, he's got this weapon, which it's supposed to go on his back, but you can use it as a gun if you want to. Put it in his hand. And he's got a blaster. And actually, if you take it out, oh, there we go. You can actually put it under his hand like this. If I can get it in there, there it goes. And it becomes sort of a little Gatling gun, which I think is pretty cool. So you can give him a little Gatling gun sort of look. Um, it can also store down here as a weapon. I'm having a really hard time sticking it in there. I mean, these the pig holes are, like I said, are, are pretty tight on this guy. Um, but yeah, you could store it down there. It looks a little bit bulky down there, though. Um, now, the place that it comes, I'm going to pull this sword out. There we go. Now, when in the package, it comes with this part down here um which looks pretty nice i mean it looks nice uh you can use it as like a maybe some kind of jet thruster so he can fly um i think it looks cool he's you know flying through the air uh, you can also put it back here and it sort of gives him the more um it looks sort of like onslaught where he's got the guns up there. You can actually move them down a little bit lower if you wanted to, because they could store in this little thing. But you can also pull it down like here. And he's got like some shoulder cannons, which I think also looks pretty cool. And so you can have his shoulder cannons there. And, uh, you know, holding his sword. I mean, I think that looks pretty cool. So, I mean, I, I think he looks really awesome in his uh, robot mode. And just for size comparison, here he is with Bisque. You can see he's actually a bit taller than Bisque, but they're relatively the same size. And, I mean, that's really it for his... Um, robot mode so i'm gonna go ahead and get him transformed back into his vehicle mode now in order to do that let's go ahead and get take a look take apart his weapons just take these guys off um one of the first things you're going to do is get his arms straightened up sort of like this and then you're going to open up this chest piece Fold back his head. Actually, before you fold his head back, you want to turn it backwards and then fold it down. Now, the arms are going to come in. Before you bring them in, you want to turn them because he's got uh, some holes here and some pegs here. So you want to make sure those are facing each other so that when you bring these arms together, you can connect them right here. Oops, this part came off. Okay, there it is. Okay, so now you're going to pull these guys together and connect them. There we go. And that's basically going to form the top of the tank. Then you're going to take the legs, pull them up like so. And then you are going to bend them like th like so. Fold this part inwards towards the legs. And then this part of the leg is going to come out, straighten up, 
and it's going to form one of the chain threads. And keep that up and then just do that on the other side. We're going to fold this part down, take this part out, and make sure this green part comes here. Fold that over it. And there you have the other tank tread. Now he's got a tab right here, a little blue tab, and you're gonna wanna connect the leg into there. And he's got that, of course, on the other side. And make sure it stays in there. And there you go, he is in his vehicle mode. You just wanna add his weapons now. So he's got that little slot there, and you can just put the weapon, his blaster cannons right in there. Let's see, here it goes. And then his sword goes on top for his official transformation. And there you go, there he is back in his vehicle mode. Like I said, I really think this is a good figure. Um, like I said, I like the vehicle mode a lot better than I thought I would. And I definitely love the robot mode. It's just a great look. Uh, all the peg holes give it a great playability. So yeah, this is definitely one that um, I recommend uh, you picking up. So anyway, that's it for this review. Um, if you like this review, please uh, like, subscribe, uh, comment, share it. And I'll definitely be doing some more reviews. So until next time, you have a great day and I will catch you later.